Obviously winning player of the year my freshman year was an amazing experience. I was very surprised to know that I was the first person to do that. That's almost definitely enough proof that Paige Buckers is one of the greatest players of her generation. Well, arguably. Still, both fans and analysts alike are convinced that the 23-year-old UConn player is on the fast track to the top. Hey, I'm Paige Beckers, aka Paige Buckets. So who is she actually? Well, Paige Buckers has been a big name in women's basketball since becoming a UConn Husky back in 2020. And despite a few injury-riddled seasons, she's now well into her third season on the court, topping charts left and right and proving that she's still one of the top players in the country. Even as a child, she already showed great potential. As a matter of fact, basketball has been a constant in Paige's life since she was a little girl. Her dad tried to get her to try out other sports, but she made it clear by age five that basketball was the sport for her. I was just a competitive little kid. I played all the sports growing up, like soccer, baseball, softball, but I just fell in love with basketball. When she was in fourth grade, people were already noticing her impressive skills, and by seventh grade, she was playing ball with the high schoolers. The following year, she made the high school varsity team. She then went on to dominate the courts during her high school basketball career. During her junior year, she was the Minnesota Gatorade Player of the Year and was a finalist for Gatorade National Player of the Year. Along with making headlines for her impressive game, her high school career ended with an absolute flourish as she became the first female high school athlete to be on the cover of Slam magazine. At the time, only a few women, like former UConn Husky star Maya Moore and current WNBA champion Candace Parker, have been featured on the magazine's cover since it first launched in 1994. The publication posted a photo of the front page on X with the caption, Paige Bweckers, the one and only. Then, even before beginning her college career, Paige became a member of USA Basketball and was selected to play in a variety of events. Long story short, so far in her career, she is already a two-time first-team AP All-American and AP Player of the Year in 2021. She has also received various awards like the Wooden Award, Naismith Award, and Nancy Lieberman Award. That's not all. She has a long list of accolades, literally a long list. All that said, it's no surprise that she was the number one recruit in the country as a five-star prospect in the class of 2020. She was ranked ahead of other notable names in the class of 2020, like WNBA stars Caitlin Clark, Angel Reese, and Cameron Brink. Obviously, Beckers did not disappoint during her first year in college, becoming the first female freshman to win the prestigious Wooden Award for Player of the Year. She joined Kevin Durant, Anthony Davis, and Zion Williamson as the only freshman to win the award. More notably though, Buchers has led the Huskies to conference titles and Final Four appearances in every season she's been on the court. The season she missed through injury, UConn lost in the Sweet 16, the first time the Huskies had lost before the Final Four since 2007. That's something else, right? Now though, her name is splashed in various headlines in relation to the WNBA draft lottery. Talent-wise, UConn Huskies guard Paige Bjekers should be the number one pick in the 2025 Doe NBA draft. She could follow Caitlin Clark, last year's number one selection to the Indiana Fever, as a pro-ready guard who could immediately help a WNBA franchise. Bjekers is a game changer whose skill set will appeal to any team, including the Dallas Wings who recently won the WNBA draft lottery and will have the top pick in April. The question is whether Buchers, who has said this will be her last season at UConn even though she has a year of eligibility left, might change her mind about the 2025 draft. The Wings franchise has been in Dallas since 2016 and, as mentioned, won the WNBA draft lottery that is widely presumed to be a selection of Paige Buchers with the top overall pick. It turns out though, that it wasn't as clear-cut as everyone expected since the UConn star apparently coveted a different destination. ESPN's Michael Vopel reported that Buchers had another team she hoped to wind up with. Sources around the league have indicated that the Los Angeles Sparks, who got the number two pick in the lottery, would have been Buchers preferred option, Vopel wrote. Like the Wings, the Sparks also currently don't have a head coach but Los Angeles is a gigantic market 
and a team that could also have used a guard like Buckers. Unlike the NBA and men's college basketball, where seasons run concurrently, the women's college basketball season and WNBA run essentially back-to-back. -back. Beckers will thus play her final season at UConn, get drafted in April, and then be thrown into a whirlwind of a WNBA rookie season that kicks off in May. Should Beckers land in Dallas, she would be entering a similar scenario as Caitlin Clark when she was drafted by the Fever. The two women's hoop stars are all too familiar with each other as the Iowa Hawkeyes eliminated UConn in the Final Four match in Clark's final NCAA season. Additionally, Beckers looks like one of the most WNBA-ready prospects in the draft with her efficient shooting and dynamic play on the court, which are all qualities she shares with Clark. Ahead of Buker's impending transition to the W, she offered a simple but powerful quote on the Fever Star. Caitlin brought so much new attention to the rise of women's college basketball and the WNBA and women's sports in general, Bakers said. I feel like the weight of the world is on her shoulders, and she just has this heavy burden to carry, and she does it with grace and humility. Clark has certainly navigated through plenty of obstacles this past season, and chances are Bukers will face her own personal challenges in her rookie year in the WNBA too. Going back to the WNBA draft lottery, with the Dallas Wings handed the first overall pick during the lottery, the Chicago Sky got the third selection, and the Washington Mystics landed the fourth pick. All four teams could have got the first overall pick had the lottery gone in their favor. The Los Angeles Sparks are happy to have the second pick in next year's WNBA draft following Sunday's lottery, despite likely missing out on Paige Beckers. As mentioned, the WNBA draft lottery is in the books, setting the order for April's 2025 draft. Similar to the past two years, there shouldn't be much drama at the top, considering the only way Paige Buckers doesn't get drafted first is if she elects to stay at UConn for an additional season. Speaking of which, while fans are giving their two cents here and there, Backers is focused on helping UConn win games at the moment, as she admitted that she did not even watch the lottery. No, I did not. Backers responded when asked if she watched the WANBA draft lottery. She also explained how she has remained focused on her team. I think I've mostly dealt with it by focusing on having a great practice today, the UConn star had said. That kind of dedication to her craft is probably the reason why she's so good at it. In fact, she is arguably the best player in women's college basketball at the moment. She is currently averaging 21.3 points per game on 65% field goal and 50% three-point shooting for UConn. Additionally, Beckers is recording per-game averages of 3.7 rebounds, 4.0 assists, and 3.0 steals per outing. Take a look at how other athletes are doing. 